previously in Let's Play Mega Man X4. I will beat you! I'll make a popsicle of you! And now for the continuation. Salutations everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man X4. So the next guy we're going after is this guy, Jet Stingray. Anyways, with his stage, it's an interesting stage because, well, no matter if you're X or Zero, you have this thing that you're riding on. And, uh, yeah, we have to uh, get a heart container and a sub tank in this stage. And, uh, yeah, what can I say? The heart container is in the first part of the stage. The uh, sub tank is in the second part of this uh, stage. So, there you go, guys. But the hard container is right there. Yes, they trick you. You have to not jump on that one specific jump right back there that I just went past. So there you go, guys. If you saw it a little too quickly. I, I don't know what else to say. Um, just try your best at uh, remembering where the heart container is and just try to get it that way. But guys, we're already at the second part of the stage and... What can I say? I love this music in this uh, stage. I don't know what it is. But, unfortunately for me, on this run here, uh, despite the fact that I got rid of uh, Jet Stingray there, yes, that's him actually attacking, uh, what uh, screws me up over here is, well, this guy is right there, and... Yeah, I died. Oh well, at least I can try it again. <laughs> this time I'll get through. Don't worry about that, guys. But yeah, Jet Stingray, as you can see, actually uh, appears in the stage and tries to attack you. And if you're not quick enough to destroy him with like a dash, basically he's just going to harass you throughout the rest of the stage. So you're just thwarting him off for the time being. And yeah, that's about all you're doing. Now here I'm trying to get ready because, as you can see, he's right there and... There we go, that's how you're supposed to do it, not like I did last time. Anyways, we also have a sub-tank that we have to get, and the sub-tank is up here, go up here, and that was the sub-tank right over there. Again, I'm sorry I would slow down the footage to show off uh, how to get it, but as you can see, there's the other sub-tank. So there we go, guys. Anyways, we have a boss uh, fight right up ahead, and it's again, well, the boss, Jet Stingray. Alrighty. And we're in water, apparently. Oh, really? Alrighty. Well, bring it on. And the thing about this guy is, if you have his weakness, he's a pushover. Especially with X. As you can see here, I can just jump up here. And, uh, yeah, his weakness is obviously what we got from Frost Walrus. And, uh, as you can see, it's just super easy. To just climb the wall, wait for him to go up, wait for him to go down, hit him, he goes up, comes back down, hit him again, and yeah, this is pretty much how every boss almost goes with X uh, fighting them with their weakness, so what else can I say besides, yeah guys, sorry this is uh, kind of unentertaining, but whatever guys, anyways, we got him nonetheless. There you go. Alrighty. That was an easy fight. Anyways, uh, what weapon do we get for defeating him? Let's find out. Yeah. You got yeah, this ability kinda is like uh, Snake Man's ability in Mega Man 3. Basically, you're shooting a stingray, actually, that goes along the ground, and it actually just can go up walls, or it can just go down walls. But guys, this was a X uh, fighting Jet Stingray. Uh, let me take a few moments, and I will be back with Zero to go and fight Jet Stingray. So give me a few moments, I'll be right back. 
Alrighty, I'm back, and yeah, this time I'm playing at zero, and it's time for us to go after Jet Stingray. Alrighty. What's he gonna say this time around? Alrighty. Yeah, I'm still after you. Okay then, let's settle it. Once and for all. And yeah, one thing uh, you want to do is get on the side that he's going to show up at. As you can see here, I'm trying to hit him. And uh, for the most part, you can get like a timing down, which I screwed up over there. Basically, you can jump up, hit him, wait for him. And there we go. Yes, okay, I'm getting the pattern down right now. Jump up. Yeah, once he goes up, right before he comes down, you can kind of time it. Jump up, like double jump. And then just, yeah, use the down, uh, down, uh, special move ability, which is what we got from Frost Walrus's, uh, well, th yeah, that's the ability we got from Frost Walrus. And as you can see, it's like a spike down. And the funny thing is, with that ability, you can actually, like, use it with, uh, Magma Dragoon's ability. So you can, like, slash upward and then, uh, basically hit downward. So it's kind of like Link from, uh, like, uh, what is it? Um... Legend of Zelda 2 Link's Adventure, where you can do like an up slash and a down slash. So, but guys, that was Jet Stingray at zero. And what ability do we get? Let's find out. I wonder if it's like useless ability. Well, not so much useless, but kind of stupid. What this ability is, is a dash in the air. That's it, guys. I'm serious. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and so until the next episode, guys, you guys take care. I'll see you on the next one.